All right, we're on the bench today. We got a pair of 1911s. Um, from the previous videos and assignments, you've seen this uh, Rock Island Arm uh, TAC 2 10 millimeter 1911. And I've got the standard GI uh, model here as well in 45 ACP, just so I could show a couple of differences. Um, so we'll start out showing clear and safe. All right, again, there's no magazine inserted. And the GI model, clear and safe with no mag inserted. The uh, very uh, most obvious differences with these, aside from the aesthetics, right? This has got the G10 grips and the cool upswept, you know, beaver tail, uh, skeletonized trigger and hammer. It's got some, you know, some high speed doodads. Uh, it's got the adjustable rear sights, which are, in my opinion, the best upgrade on this thing. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fiber optic sights. They work but I've seen them break. So I'll probably swap that out for a tritium or something someday. But, um, oh, no, the best difference is this upswept beaver tail because I went and shot this 45 the other day and it swoops down, hits me right in the hand. Look, I took a chunk. I was wounded. I don't know why that's like that. Maybe I just have a fat hand or something. I don't know, but I'm not a big fan of that. I like this version much better so if that's swappable this gi one's going to get that uh beaver tail eventually anyway that's not the point of this video so the major uh difference that i want to show is the fact that this gi model you can see it's got the barrel bushing that we're all familiar with you push down on the guide rod here you spin that out of the way and that's how you start your takedown procedure for your uh, your field stripping. But with this 10 mil, it's a completely different setup. It doesn't have the barrel bushing. And you can see this bull barrel is way thicker than the, uh, the barrel wall, the thickness of this barrel on the 45 ACP. And I, I have to assume that's because the 10 mil is like 80% more pressure, um, internal uh, pressure than the, uh, 45 ACP. I'm going to do a comparison on these two uh, firearms here in the future, so I'll go through all that stuff. But anyway, we'll say goodbye to the GI one for now, and we'll carry on with our field stripping procedures for our our 10 millimeter. All right. So, like I said before, with the GI, you have that barrel bushing that you move out of the way. With this one, the steps are a little bit different at first. All right. We want to lock our slide to the rear. And down inside of there, it's gonna be kind of hard to see, but if you see towards the base of the recoil guide rod, that where I'm pointing, there's a little hole in there. That little hole, this is on Arms Corps website. They say, take a paper clip, fold it out and put a 90 in the end of it. Be nice if they included that tool, but whatever, paper clips are handy. All right, so you get it in there, you hold it in place. This is how I do it with my thumb. You kind of need three hands again. And then release your slide stop. And you can see that it, that uh, paper clip kind of bunches up in there. All right, that's step one. Step two, um, Let's see if I can show this here. So you have, for the slide stop, you have this normal indentation. If I push it all the way back out, our paper clip will fall out. So I'm not gonna push it all the way back, but that's where that pushes up in there. But right behind it, you can see a little uh, kind of half moon, half semi circle uh, relief cut. And we get that lined up with, see that shiny part down inside of there? All right, and on the other side, this pin is, is rounded off and it sits proud out of the frame so you can just push it with your finger. Again, you push it from the bottom side and it pops right out of that relief. All right, with that out, we can remove our slide, set our lower to uh, off to the side here. Now, what we have created is a can of worms. Ever so 
gingerly, remove your recoil spring. Now we got to move the uh, barrel link, sorry, up out of the way, and that'll come out of there. All right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, release that so that it doesn't shoot a spring across the room. Okay. All right. From there, we just unlock our barrel. All right. Barrel, you'll, you might think it's stuck. It's just in the, in, in the lock position when it's up. It's a tilting barrel. It has to come down and forward, and it just pulls right out the front. That is a field stripped Rock Island Arms 1911 TAC 2. It's not that big a deal. All right, from there we can clean this thing, which it still desperately needs. All right, but for now, we're gonna put this all back together. The hardest part of this whole process is getting this spring back down on this guide rod in such a way that we can reinsert it and doing it without tearing your fingers all up. Here's something uh, I wanna point out. If we look at the screen, you can see the coil comes up on this side, this left side, comes up and just stops. Whereas on this side, it comes up and it makes a nice flat, complete circle. I like to put the, the cut coil end onto the guide rod first so that in the plug, it's sitting up flush against the inside of that uh, that sh little shelf inside of the plug there. All right. And then the other thing is uh, where this kind of half circle here, it's cut out for the relief of the barrel. We've got a matching uh, similar piece up here on the plug. So you want to line those up. And then we're going to shut this guy down here. so carefully we get our paper clip back in there all right oh god don't explode all right now we uh so we put our barrel back in there i didn't really say much about that it just goes back in the way it came up came out um remember our barrel link that's gonna we're gonna remember that here in a second because we have to move it out of the way in order to get our recoil assembly in, in here, all right. Get it in there, push our link, barrel link back down. Now you can't take this thing all the way out. If this is sticking out from the slide, you're, it's gonna give you trouble when you go to reassemble. So just make sure it's all the way in the slide there. All right, and with the barrel link in the downward position, we just slide, and now it's not all the way down. That's gonna give you issues. That's gonna give you issues. It has to be almost at like a 45, and you'll see here in a sec. We slide this on to the receiver. All right, flip it over. That's gonna be a little hard to see. So in the hole where the uh, slide stop is going to go, you can see that the barrel bushing didn't totally line up. That's okay. You can use whatever's handy. I happen to have a piece of a pen here. Yeah, I'm in a hotel room on a business trip, so I don't have my whole bench with me. We make do with what we have. Field stripping in the field. All right. Mag stock back in place. Line up our relief with our little semicircle there. In she goes, rack it back, out comes the paper clip, and we are back in business. All right, that, that's uh, field stripping, the Rock Island Arms 10 millimeter 1911 FS Tactical 2. Thank you very much.